Thank you for joining the class today. Okay, so let's start laying down on our mats. I'm gonna use my blocks to open up the heart center. Remember this second block can always uh, be positioned horizontally or vertically, right? It's easier, it's more comfortable for the spine uh, to place it horizontally, but if you feel like you need to open up a little bit more, then you can place it this way. So let's just lay down slowly. Let's place it that upper back on top of one of the blocks and then adjust in the second block and place it under the head. And just stay here with your feet flat on the mat at least for a couple of breaths, settling down. If your lower back feels comfortable in this position, then you can extend your legs completely forward in on your mat. And just notice the path of your breath, moving down your throat, feeling your lungs. Expanding your belly as you inhale. And then as you exhale, the breath moves all the way, all the way backwards. Relaxing those shoulders. Relaxing the muscles of your face. It's just centering, collecting the energy in the here and the now. And washing off a bit the worries or the stress, the doubts. We're going to stay here for a couple more breaths. Just to maintain your attention. Weaving yourself. Nice shot. Very good. We're going to begin to bend those legs again. Feet flat on the mat. And then we're going to remove the block under the head. So we're going to do this very mindfully and very slowly. So first of all, as you move with the, your right hand, the block, you're also supporting the head with the left hand. So you're not releasing the head on the floor. Interlace both hands, interlace the fingers, and keep supporting the back of your head with your hands. And then you're gonna begin slowly to release the neck and the head down, but by little. It doesn't have to go all crazy. There's no goal here. You don't have to touch the floor with the head. You're just, opening a little bit more the heart's area. Now close your arms, like if your elbows want to touch and broaden a little bit more the upper of back. Again, maintain the support under your head with your hands. 
but if you feel comfortable, keep relaxing the head is down. It's not supposed to hurt you. So as soon as you feel like you're going too far, come back. It's supposed to help you release the tension in your neck, opening up the heart and the throat chakra as you keep deepening this back bend here. Notice the sensations, notice how it feels, notice how much low you can go. But again, don't make it the object of the position here. Just keep breathing. Maybe you feel super comfortable and now you feel like, you know what, I don't need those hands behind my head. But again, it doesn't have to happen. I want you to take three more mindful breaths as they hear, trying to feel the lungs and expand the sides of your waist with your inhalation. One more here. Nice job. To get up, you need to support your Again, so interlace the fingers in case you broke that connection in between your hands. And not just lift the head, but also lift the chest with you. Slowly, little by little. Open your eyes here. Stay here in this transition. Take one more breath. And now that your head and the back of your neck, it's very stable, place the hands and elbows on the floor, slowly roll to the right side and now move the prop away. Nice job. Very good. Let's lay down again on our mat, sending those knees to the chest in Apanasana. Toes, ankles, knees, inner thighs are squeezing in as you try to relax each vertebrae on your mat. Three mindful breaths to hear. Noticing the quality of your breath, maybe with that open heart position that we started um, with, maybe the lung capacity is a little bit bigger now. Very good. Hands on your knees and let's create some movement on the hips as you create circles here with the, your legs. Big range of motion. Two more on this direction. Nice job. And now we'll go ahead and move in the opposite direction. Very good. Knees to chest. One more breath. We're going to start heating up the frontal body doing an ab work, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna extend the legs forward and the arms to the back at the same time. We're not gonna touch the floor. We're gonna squeeze everything in, but those arms or legs are gonna be very straight. And then as you exhale, send those knees again to your chest and hug your knees. Work with your breath. 
you don't have to go fast. Actually, the lower the better. Try not to round too much the back. So each vertebra is still rooting down. Couple more. Push forward with those heels. One more. Nice job. Open up your arms and let those hips roll to the right side in this twist. Maybe with your right hand, you can help your thighs press down to the floor as you revolve in the shoulders and the rib cage to the left side. Keep expanding your belly to the sides as you inhale. One more here. Nice shot. Bring those knees to the back without using your hands, but just your core. And now twist to the left. Keep rooting and the shoulder blades it down on your mat evenly. And try to maintain the pit of the belly in towards the spine. And so the ribs and your upper body you can twist even more to the right side. Very good. Bring those knees back, up and asana. Okay, so we're going to do another exercise to keep warming up within ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the outer edges of my mat. But if you feel like the low, it's too much for the lower back, you can place the hands under your lower back, palms facing down. Okay, and what we're going to do is bicycle movement. So we're going to go ahead and extend one leg and then the other, like if we were riding a bike, we're not touching the floor. We're trying to extend the legs forward and then bring the knees to your thigh, to your chest and your face. The pace is going to be up to you. If you want to create more heat, you're going to go, of course, a little bit faster. Long breath. Three more. Extend those knees to your chest. Nice job. Extend the right leg forward. Ekapada, up and us. And I noticed that extension and nice uh, stretch in your right hip flexor. Maintain your feet flat, the chest wide and open. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, go ahead and turn your hips again to the right side. If you have one of your blocks handy, place the block underneath your left foot.
Pushing the air to the belly as you inhale. One more breath. Now I shall come back into Apanasana. Before we twist to the left side, we're going to do the same movement, the same bicycle movements, but now in reverse. Okay, so if you were pedaling forward, now you're going to pedal all the way backwards. Here we go. Push it through the heel. Try not to touch the floor. Try not to send those legs too close to the floor. Keep flexing your feet. Warming up those hip flexors, warming up those thighs, working on those abs. Three more. And whenever you're ready, send those knees to your chest. Nice. Extend the left leg forward. Ekapada apanasana. Press it forward through the heel. Very good. And whenever you're ready, open up the right arm, twist the hips to the left, and maybe place a block under the foot. Create a lot of space on the right side of your waist. So move the right hip forward. And whenever you're ready, breathe again those knees back. Very good. Hands in the back of your thighs. We're going to rock ourselves so back and forth five times. Try to blend the movement with your breath. Lasso one. Nice job. And then come here into a comfortable seating position. Very good. Let's twist one more time. Right hand on top of that left knee. Lift that left arm up. Extend and stretch from the hip bone all the way to the middle finger. Inhale here. As you exhale, twist your top body. Place the fingertips down on the floor. And really work on twisting the rib cage to the left. One more here. Nice job. Come back. Let's open up the lower back. Reach forward with those fingertips. Maybe place the hands on top of your blocks if you need to. It's okay to round the back. So just reach it forward with those arms, but keep rooting those seating bones on your mat. Focus on your breath. One more here. Nice shot. Bring yourself up back. Cross your legs now in the opposite 
direction with your other shin bone on the front to left hand on your knee or wherever other um, side you need to go. Lift the arm, reach as much as you can through the fingertips. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, go ahead and twist. This is how the shoulders descend. And how you can still lift in through the crown of your head. Nice job. Come back. Very good. Extend both legs so forward. Before we go into downward dog, let's stretch a little bit the back of those legs. So bend one of your legs. Place it the foot against the inner thigh. All we're going to do here before forward folding completely, completely we're going to uh, pulse. So reach it forward and come back. Forward and come back. You do want to feel the pull in the back of, of your leg from probably the back of your knee all the way to the glute. Nice tension there, but you don't want to go too deep. So be mindful. And just pulse here, back and forth. And a couple more. Why do we pause? Why do we play a little bit in the pose before just finding stillness? I think it's important, especially in this weather, to create heat within the muscles, those ligaments, and then hold the pose. Very good. Now reach forward with your fingertips and hold the pose. So walk those arms at fingertips as much as you can, but keep sending the shoulder blades to the back, all the way down to your middle and back. One more breath. Nice job, come back. Before we go to the other side, place the fingertips on the back, lift the chest, and now flex and point those toes. Let's create heat in the front of that shin bone and around the shin bone and those muscles around. The breath is always gonna be uh, part of that uh, process of heating the internal body. If you breathe a little bit faster, it's going to heat you up and it's going to warm you up uh, versus breathing deeply and trying to calm the central nervous system. Three more. Nice job, very good. Close the leg, extend the opposite. Now bend your other leg. And here we are again, rooting down through the sitting bones. Let's reach it forward and come back. Glue the back of the leg completely on the floor, not just the heel and the glute, but also the calf, the back of the knee, reaching down as much as it can, and the hamstring. As soon as you feel that nice pull in your hamstring or close to your glute, then you stop and keep going back and forth.
Five more. Next one, reach it forward. With fingertips trying to walk as much as they can towards the front. Shoulders away from the ears. A nice constant pulling, right? Instead of back and forth. But now it's constant, it's, you can feel it while you're holding. Keep breathing through the tension. Three more. Nice job. Come back. Now let's flex. And again, the faster and this one, the better. So you can really feel the engagement and the burning around the shin bone. Also a nice stretch for the front of the foot. Five more, and one, and two. Nice, very good, everyone. Let's go ahead and come into our hands and knees, tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under your hips. Here we go, inhale, chest pulls forward. Notice your lower back. How tender can feel, so take your time here to really arch your back. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and round completely this one. And at least do two more of these rounds. Not thinking about the breath, but really in the elongation and holding. And when you feel you had enough, then you blend it with the, your breath. Inhale to reach it forward and then exhale to round. And two more here. Nice job, everyone. Let's come back into tabletop. Walk your hands. Couple of inches forward, six to 12. Curl the back, toes in. Reach your hips up and back into your first downward dog. Now, send all the way to your right hand and right foot. Like lean towards the right side. And then do the same on the left side. All the weight on your left hand and left foot and keep doing so side to side pit of the belly in and up and one more side to side nice downward facing dog everyone Maintain those legs. Try as much as you can, unless you feel like you're rounding too much your back, then micro bend those knees. Very good. Lift the right leg up from the inner thigh and send the right knee to the chest. Round, lift the knee to the chest, the pressure through the palms and kick back. And again, right knee to chest. Kick back. Last one. 
kick back, place the foot on the floor. Nice shot. Second side, lift the left leg up. And send the left knee to the chest around. Kick back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. One more. Last one. And place a there a foot on the floor. Now open up your legs wider than mat distance apart and come here in this very wide leg, downward facing dog. Nothing has changed, just the position of your legs, your hands are still. Shoulder. Reach your back through those hips. Maybe your legs are completely straight. Maybe your heels are on the floor. One. More breath. Nice shot, come back. Downward facing dog. The feet. Uh, hip bones distance up bar. Very good. Lift the right leg up and send the right knee to the chest and place the foot in between your hands. Release the back knee down. Inhale, rise. Anjani Asana. Nice shot. Very good. We're going to start twisting first with the right hand down, close to that right foot, lifting that left arm up. Now you can always place a block underneath your hand. Press the knee out with your tricep and press the tricep in with your knee. Take one more breath. Nice job, left hand down, close to that right foot, open up and twist to the right side. Push down through the palm. Take one more breath. Nice job. Hands to floor, maybe grab your blocks with you, reach back, extend that right leg forward. Take one more breath. And now, Point those toes and the foot. You want to open up the front of your foot and the joint where the foot and the shin bone meet. If the toes touch the floor, great. If they don't touch the, the floor, great as well. Just reach it forward with those toes and feel the stretch from the toe all the way to your hip flexor. Take one more breath. Mindfully begin to bend that front knee, place the knee on the floor, downward facing up. Very good, lift the left leg up. Send the left knee to the chest and place the foot down on the floor in between your hands. Release the back knee down. Inhale, rise. Very good. Let's play a little bit here. Left hand down. Reach. Lean to the left side. Stretch the right side of the body. Very good. Second side, lift the left arm slowly, release the right hand. 
these are the inner thighs together for more balance. Very good. Lift those arms and let's start twisting. Left hand down on the inside of that left foot. Open up, revolve the torso to the right. Tricep touching the knee, knee touching the tricep. Second side, everyone, right hand down. Go ahead and lift and twist to the left. Let the pubic one up. One more. Very good. Hands to floor or blocks. Reach those hips back as you extend that left leg. And for more balance, squeeze those inner thighs together. One more breath. So with the toes facing up. Now, whenever you're ready now, point the foot. One more breath. Very good. Find your way to downward facing dog. Open up those legs again, wide and wider than mat distance apart. If you need to walk your hands a little bit closer to your legs, then go ahead. Very good, one more breath. Good, now place those hands under your shoulders and begin to bend the right knee. Toes are still facing forward. Don't roll the left ankle in. Maintain the outer edge of that left foot, rooting down and respect that nice arch on your right foot. Very good, second side, bend the left. Send the way all the way back to your glutes and hamstring. One more time to the right side. Hands are going to be exactly where they feel comfortable being, right? It can be closer to the right foot. It can be under your uh, shoulders. There's no right alignment here for those arms. We're just stretching the lower body. And go ahead and bend out the left again. Nice shot, come back. Walk your hands so forward, downward facing dog. Close the distance in between your feet. Lift the right leg up. And send the right knee to the chest and place the foot in between your hands again. This time, I bend the back knee, lift. All on us. Good. Let those arms go. Interlace the fingers and just reach it down. You don't want to lift those arms, just reach down as much as you can with your knuckles. Keep sending the chest and the shoulders to the back instead of hinging forward. Good. 
One more breath. Nice job. Now we're gonna hinge it forward. Extend the chest forward as you extend the back leg completely. One more breath. Hands to floor, step to plank, chaturanga. And take your knees on the floor and lift to the chest, extending those arms completely in cobra. Nice, curl the toes, reach back with the your hips and up, downward dog. Nice, second side, lift the left leg up. You send the left knee to the chest and place the foot down on the floor between your hands. Micro bend the back knee, balance, and lift yourself up. Three mindful breaths here. We're gonna go ahead and bend the arms in cactus as we exhale, opening up the mouth. Here, and your arms in cactus, open your mouth. And again, inhale. Exhale. And again. One more. Nice. This time, lift those arms along with your ears, reach forward again, torpedo. Back leg is completely straight. Take one more breath here. And release those hands to the floor. Step to plank. And chataranga. You can stay in cobra or lift those thighs and upward facing dog. Whenever you're ready, curl the toes and press it back. And now up. Downward dog. Open up your legs. Final here pose. Walk your hands under your shoulders. Left hand in the center, right hand on your lower back. Push it through the palm, push it through the shoulder, twist the body to the right. Keep pressing down with that right hand. Now we're ready to lift the arm. Squeeze your inner thighs together. One more. Right hand on the floor. Now shop left hand on your lower back. Reach it forward through the crown of the head. And press it through your right hand. Lift it through the arm and shoulder. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, twist. Now, lifting the left arm is optional. What you don't want to lift is the hip. So don't lift the left hip. Maintain your sacrum parallel to the floor. Remember that we exhale and we twist deeper. So work on your breath. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job, everyone. Hands to floor, walk those hands forward, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's place those knees on the floor. Very good. We're gonna go very quick into camel pose after all those twisting, after working on a little bit on the core and the inner thighs, uh, squeeze uh, all the way in and maintain them firm. We're gonna go into a back bend, which is gonna be camel pose. So for this one, I'm gonna place my blocks between my um, knees and feet. So maybe by the call, right? And then I'm gonna curl my toes. I'm gonna come up on my knees and my shin bones. Good, hands on your lower back, not pressing forward, but creating space between your um, lower back and your middle back. So you want to kind of press it down with the heels of your hands. Elbows in, begin to open up the chest. Maintain those hips on top of your knees. And whenever you feel comfortable, you're just gonna release those hands and maybe touch your blocks with your fingertips. Now, what you're lifting is the back of your heart. Same sensation that we had at the beginning of the class when we were laying down and we were using those props under the upper back. Maybe you relax the head a little bit more. If that don't feel comfortable, you're gonna take at least a three mindful breaths right here. And whenever you're ready, palms to heart and sitting down. Okay, so if you haven't done it, let's do it. If you did it, Okay, so very comfortable to place those hands on the blocks. Maybe you're ready to go ahead and grab your heels. Again, it's not the goal. The goal is just to open up the heart center, okay? If you're trying to grab the heels, try not to roll the ankles to the outside, but maintain them squeeze in towards each other. So place those blocks if you're gonna use them again or just Curl the toes and place those hands on your lower back, starting here. As you inhale, you elongate, you lift it through the chest all the way up. And as you exhale, you relax those hands on your blocks or heels. Shoulders down, away from the neck. And whenever you're ready, you bring yourself back and you sit down. Nice job. Let's go ahead, cross those legs. Extend those legs forward completely. Maybe you use your strap and place a strap around your feet or you just lift those arms. And as you exhale, you reach up for. If you want to grab your feet or your toes, go ahead. I just like to play walking my fingertips forward as much as I can, but relaxing those shoulders away from the base of the neck. This is going to bring a little bit of balance to the back, especially after that uh, back bend. So we might feel very comfortable in this position at this point because we play a lot um, by stretching the back of those legs. Now really focus on your back, elongate as much as you can. Through 
three more mindful breaths. Nice job. Chest folds forward slowly, come back. Let's bend those knees and open up your feet, mat distance apart. Hands on the floor on the back. We're going to windshield wiper, right? Just to bend those knees, if you lift that right hand or left hand off the floor. So you really want to reach down with completely as much as you can those hips. And then whenever you're ready, second time. You're going to notice how every time you go to one side, you're going to start walking and moving forward towards the front of your mat. That's fine. Just work on releasing the tension around the hips, inner thighs, the groin area, outer hips, hip flexors. And a couple more. And one more round. Very good, everyone. Let's go ahead and lay down on our backs. Just stay here, massaging your lower back for at least three breaths. Nice job. Happy baby, Ananda Balasana. We're going to pull those shin bones and feet towards the back of your room. One more mindful breath here. Nice job, everyone. Go ahead and close those legs. Lift the head and the chest off the mat. Give yourself a nice, well-deserved hug. And let's relax in Shavasana for at least two to three minutes. Again, wash, you know, with the tension. Washing up whatever holds you down and
And begin to deepen out your breath again. And to move your head side to side as you wiggle your toes. And your fingers. And stretch it here out and about. And whenever you're ready, and just send those names to your chest and roll to the right side. With your eyes still closed, push yourself into a comfortable seating position. With your palms together at your heart in gratitude. With an open heart, with an open mind, an open body. Thank you for being here. Love yourself. Namaste, everyone.